Discover Sydney. So you're coming to Australia and you want to know what all the fuss is about Mrs Macquarie's chair. Well in this video we're going to find out. G'day, I'm Matt and I'm a professional tour guide. I take my guests on day trips and online experiences to show them the very best of nature and wildlife in Sydney, Australia. But on this channel, I share my travel tips and local knowledge to discovering this diverse city. So if you're into this sort of thing, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss anything in the future. So the best way to get to Mrs Macquarie's chair is to take a nice walk from the centre of the city, or the CBD as we call it, or downtown, and um, walk to Mrs Macquarie's chair. It's about half an hour's walk. The Botanic Gardens is really worth taking your time walking through because there's so much to see. So maybe you could pack a picnic and walk through here. Have a look at this. Check out this sandstone and the Sydney rock orchid. I think this would have to be one of the most scenic walks around Sydney. And Mrs Macquarie's chair is just around the corner here. There it is, over there. Mrs Macquarie's chair was hand carved into the sandstone rock by convicts in 1810. Elizabeth Macquarie was the wife of Major General Lachlan Macquarie, Governor of New South Wales. Folklore has it she used to sit on the rock enjoying the views of the harbour, watching for ships sailing in from Great Britain. Now there's a local rumour that that's not the real Mrs Macquarie's chair. The real chair is right next to it. Let's go and have a look. It's just up these stairs. Is that the real chair? We'll never know. One thing I do know about this place is another interesting fact, and that's this thing here. The convicts got bored and they built their stripper pole. And there's the Australian Navy base at Potts Point. There's the Andrew Boyd Charlton swimming pool. It's a great spot for a swim after your walk. In the distance is a former wool and cargo dock, but it's now home to upmarket bars, restaurants and hotels. So there you go, that's a quick taste of Mrs Macquarie's chair. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'm always looking for inspiration for my next video.